combination of moderation, exercise, and balanced meals. Back in the good old days, they enjoyed these high-fat diets. But nowadays, they're saying they're wreaking havoc on our bodies. So is there a really good way to enjoy these wonderful tastes and smells? Here's what the experts have to say. The sound of meat grilling, grease bubbling, smoke rising. Flavor. That's what excites the palate. A familiar, totally mouth-watering experience many Southerners have grown up on. Southern food just nurtures the appetite. It's so smooth. It's just like you don't spit, you don't swallow. And it's just a joy heaven in your mouth. You got to have a vice, you know. To me, good tasting food is a good vice. But just how good are these favorite dishes for your heart and body? The bottom line to it is it's probably not. I wouldn't suggest a, a, stir, a, a stern diet of pig feet. Um, you know, what you would do is you, you would eat it in a smaller amount or you would get that flavor of it. And it was that flavor, along with freshness and moderation, all mixed together that made these dishes healthy years ago. So how can we regain those familiar tastes of the South while cooking heart smart? Instead of using the traditional fat backs and the traditional shortenings, using olive oil, canola oil, which actually have been sh shown to lower cholesterol levels in people. And for each of us, it will be different. Maybe you try one modification in a recipe and it's not appealing to you but you try another way to season it, and you do find that good. Well, we're here in Winston-Salem with Chef Don, and he's cooking up a wonderful dish. Chef, what are you cooking for well, us? Well, I'm cooking a gullo rice. You know, it comes from the South Islands there off the coast of Carolinas, and this was brought over here from Africa and the Caribbean. And look at this, we're putting in some of this wonderful vegetable proteins, some black beans, all right? We're gonna spice up a little bit of pepper, and then we've got our own blend of hot sauce here in uh -huh. North Carolina. Some Texas Pete, let's get a little bit of that in there. Or if you're really like me, I'm gonna get a lot of that in there. But now, Chef Don, it, as good as it looks, it's fattening. Well, you know, the flavor is in here and it's fattening to a certain degree. We've eliminated a lot of the animal fats. We didn't use the lard. We didn't use a lot of those things that were harmful for you, but we did add in a lot of flavor. And let me tell you, moderation goes a long way with everything. All right, and we're looking forward to grabbing a taste of this. And right. he's got an apple sonker over sonker, here for us, too. Right. All right, reporting live in Winston-Salem. Eat your heart out back there at the station. Dia Davidson, <laughs> ABC 45 News.